Hello, and welcome back to Studio 607 Webcasting. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about the E chord and the six white horses rhythm pattern. I've had a, several emails about the pattern used in that song as well as others, but I guess it's referred to as the six white horses pattern, so we're going to cover that. Um, at first, I'm going to play a little bit of six white horses so you can hear it in context and then I'm gonna move the camera so um, there'll be a different angle so you can see what I'm doing close up as I slow it down um, I've only got one camera that I like so I'm gonna move it so I'll stop the video and move it after I play this Okay, now I have the camera moved and we're going to hopefully let you see more close up what's going on with my hands. This is a little bit more complicated lick than some of the other ones. Uh, incidentally, the basic E pattern is just like the other patterns that we've discussed. Just uh, bass notes being E and A. Now the six white horses lick. That lick starts out the same. Top string down. Or, I'm sorry, top string. Now when you do the down stroke, you lift up this finger making this chord an E minor. Lay down your pinky finger on the B string at the second fret while holding the E minor chord. Now do, <clears throat> do your down, up, down. But when you come up, lift this finger back up and put the E chord back into major. Then hit the top string again. So, <clears throat> so far we have. So. Again, E string, top string. E minor with the B string fretted at the second fret using your pinky finger. This finger is free for your down stroke. When you do your up stroke, pull this finger up, make the full E major chord, uh, third string fretted at the first fret. I 
I suggest you get used to doing that for a while. And then the rest of it is. You go back to this position with the E minor and the uh, second note on the B string fretted. And then you go up, down, now change back again to the E chord. So. Again, E, down, up, or down, or hit the down on the top string. Up. phrase like that um, Lester would go ahead and smack that E chord um, probably with a lot more force than I'm using there's also a thing he did where he would mute it so <clears throat> once again This is a somewhat complicated lick. If there's any questions at all, please feel free to email me, and uh, <clears throat> I'll try to be more specific if, if that's not been clear enough, and try to clear up any questions that you might have after this video regarding that lick. So thank you very much for tuning in, and we'll see you during the next lesson. Have a great day.